there and welcome to my channel Yarn Over with Arthritis. I'm Rachel and thanks for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to like and subscribe for more crochet videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this Sunflower Granny Square. It's now full in the UK here and in the Northern Hemisphere. So I thought I would do a full granny square and this uh, sunflower is really easy to make. I'm using four different colors. They're all a double knit yarn, a brown, a yellow, an orange, and then a tan color, but you can um, choose your own colors for your granny square. So let's get started making the sunflower. I'm going to start off with the brown yarn and I'm going to make a magic circle. So make a slip knot and we're going to chain five. And then I'm going to slip stitch into this first stitch. And that's made our magic circle. And in the middle of the circle, we're going to do double crochet. So chain three. And this chain three will count as one double crochet. So we have to make another 15 double crochets into the middle of our circle. So I'll just count those, one, two, three, six, and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, so another three. And I'll just pull the tail to tighten the middle. So that's our total of 16 double crochets. And we're going to slip stitch into this first double crochet to close the circle. And that's our first part done. Now we're going to fasten off this yarn. Now we're going to do the puff stitch, which is this part here. So with the yellow yarn, you're going to slip stitch into any space between the double crochets. 
and now we're going to make the puff stitch so to make the puff stitch we're going to yarn over through the gap and pull the yarn through so you'll have three loops on your hook yarn over through the gap pull through and now you've got five loops on your hook yarn over through the gap pull through and now you'll have seven loops on your hook and then we're going to yarn over and pull through the whole seven loops and chain one to close the puff stitch and then we're going to make a puff stitch into every gap so you should have 16 puff stitches at the end of the circle So that's seven loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through seven and chain one. And we're going to carry on till we get to the last one and then slip stitch into the top of the first puff stitch and fasten off the yarn. <clears throat> so then we'll slip stitch into the top of the first puff stitch. And fasten off our yarn. And that's the next part done. So now we're going to join the orange yarn. And in between any gap of our puff stitch, we'll slip stitch the orange yarn and chain three. Okay, now this stitch is called a bubble stitch. And it's quite easy, it's just incomplete double crochets. So this will count as one. So yarn over through the same gap and pull through. And then yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Then yarn over into the gap, pull through. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops, so you've got three on your hook. Yarn over into the gap, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two, and you've got four. Yarn over into the gap, pull through. Yarn over and pull through the first two, and you've got five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the five and then chain two to close the bobble stitch. And then we're going to do that right around our circle. 
So yarn over through the, into the next gap, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two stitches. Yarn over, through and pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over into the gap, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the first two. So you've got five on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the five and chain two. So we'll keep repeating that around the circle. So we've come to the end and you should have 16 of the bubble stitches. And then we want to slip stitch into the top of this first bubble stitch we made. And then we're going to fasten off the yarn. That's our circle bit made. Now we're going to make the square. So with the tan, we're going to slip stitch into any gap on the circle and we're going to chain three. And into the same gap, we're going to work two double crochets. And then we're going to make a corner into this next gap. So three, sorry, three treble crochets. So a treble crochet, we wind the wool around twice and then yarn over through the first two and then through the next two and then through the next two. So we want to do three of those. And then we're going to chain two and still into the same gap we're going to do another three treble crochets. And then into our next gap, we'll do three double crochets. And into our next gap, we'll do three half double crochets. So yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through the, all of the stitches. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, through all the stitches. Into our next gap, we'll do three double crochets. And then we'll make another corner. So it's three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets. And then chain two and then another three treble crochets into that same gap
and into the next gap is three double crochets. And into the next gap, three half double crochets. Into the next gap, three double crochets. And then we'll make another corner so three treble crochets chain two three treble crochets And then chain two and then another three treble crochets into that same gap And into the next gap is three double crochets. And into the next gap, three half double crochets. The next gap, three double crochets. And then we're on to our last corner. So three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets. And then let's get three double crochets. And then in our last gap, three half double crochets. And then we'll slip stitch into the first double crochet to close the square and fasten off your yarn and that's our sunflower square completed I hope you liked that video and found it easy to follow the instructions. Please remember to like and subscribe if you are new to my channel. And um, hope you have a wonderful week and thanks for watching. Take care.